All right, YouTube, good day. There is a new quest in the game called the Terra Group Trail. If you finish this quest line, you will get two additional lines in your stash permanently. I double checked it with BSG. Those two lines of extra stash space, they are not going to disappear with a wipe. They're going to be permanent. So you're going to keep those two, uh, two rows for every single wipe from now on. So make sure you do this quest whenever you get free time. And I'm going to take you through... Uh, the first uh, part of the quest, because the quest is not fully done yet. So the first thing you do is you go to the fence, you accept the Terra Group Trail Part One, and it takes and it yeah uh, that uh, that that it tells you to locate fences men who are missing on shoreline. So for this, you need to go to shoreline, and uh, the whole location is right here. So right next to the resort, if you go to the left side of the resort and you go a little bit down, there will be a point with a Zil car. With a Zil car, there's a couple of dead scavs around, and uh, you just need to go here and locate dead scavs around the car. They'll be located literally right next to the car. So this is the first thing you do. Then you extract, you complete the quest. Then you need to do part two. For part two, it asks you to eliminate eliminate two weird scavs, as well as find the source of their abnormal behavior and hand it over to um, to the therapist. So you accept this uh, th quest from therapist. For this quest, you go back to Shoreline, you go back to this area with the car, and there will be, well, every single raid there is two weird scavs, apparently they behave in strange ways. They can be around this whole area, so once I found them right here in the trees, once I, ha once I found him, uh, once I found a scav right here next to the rock, so check all of this area, there's usually just two of them, kill them, search their rigs, search their pockets, and you should be able to find one of the original Abdel bosses. You get this Abdel boss, you extract, you give it to the therapist, this part is done. Then we move on to the part 3. For part 3, you need to obtain a mysterious laptop at a water treatment plant on Lighthouse. So, we go to the Lighthouse, we get close to the rogues. You can do it during nighttime, because rogues see wars at nighttime. Kill the first two, uh, kill this one, or do it the way you prefer it. And you need to check this area right here, because this is where the laptop is supposed to be. I personally found my laptop in this container right here, inside this crate. So as you go in through the main entrance, you turn left and you go to the second container. I found it right there. There's a couple of spawns and I think it is shown on wiki. Yep, right there. As you can see, there is three spawns. Here, here and here. So you get the laptop, you extract, you give this uh, laptop to Mr. Prapor. Uh, and then uh, you move on to the part four. For part 4, you need to locate Rogue's meeting spot on Shoreline, disrupt the deal, and survive an extract. So, we go back to Shoreline, we go to the cottage area, right here, and in this area you will be able to find uh, three three goons, so Bird Eye, Big Pipe, and um, what's his name? What's the last one's name, Chad? I keep forgetting. Anyway, you get three goons, you get Senator with his guards as well, you need to go into the cottage area first to trigger the first part of the quest and then you need to kill either one of the uh, one, one of the four bosses either Senator or one of the goons and then the quest is gonna count um, but make sure you go inside first because if you kill all of them and only then you go inside it's not gonna count and you will have to come back and do it again however if you uh, locate the whole area and you die instantly you don't need to go inside the compound anymore you can just kill them and extract so this quest doesn't reset when you die after you kill them and you extract, you finish the quest and you move on to the part 5. For part, for part 5 it says, ask mechanic to decode the laptop. You go to mechanic, you ask him to decode the laptop and he will ask for 5 bitcoins. So try to get those in advance. Try to get 5 bitcoins in advance. And after you do that, he says there is a time gap, come back in 20 hours. So 23 hours from now on, let's say like 20... 21, maybe 20 hours from the moment of the release of this video, the next part will be available. So we don't know what's coming next, but the faster you do it, the better. And as soon as we get our hands on part 6, tomorrow I will make a new YouTube video. So try your best to do the quest and get those two lines um, of the of the stash. And by the way, I'm doing Sabathon right now. We're doing a uncapped Sabathon. So if you like to watch Tarkov on Twitch, feel free to pop into my channel. And thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.